we don't get it on this trip, we don't get it. We'll move on and do other stuff. Hello. Ah, oh, get off! Get off me! Hey there, survivors. Cougar here, back with more Subnautica Below Zero Early Access Gameplay. We are picking up right where we left off at the end of the last episode, in which I said that now that we had uh, unlocked the sea truck blueprint, I was going to gather up all the materials for the sea truck off camera, and then we were just going to build the sea truck together. But I've changed my mind on that. I mean, what's the harm in actually doing this together? So, with that in mind, if you take a look at the blueprints I've got pinned up there, uh, we are going to need... Hold on. Let's get to the surface so we don't have to worry about water. Or air. We're going to need five advanced wiring kits to build the sea truck. Uh, that's the hard part. Uh, for each wiring kit, we're going to need a computer chip and two pieces of gold and two pieces of silver to make a wiring kit. So we've got, that's 15 pieces of gold and 10 pieces of silver and then a bunch of copper that we need to gather up to make that happen. So I, I think that, I think that we can do all that together. It'll, it'll, it'll still be fun. I've got a lot of drop pod mark. I've got a lot of markers in general that I don't really need all of them, but this is what we're looking for. We're going to head down into the sea monkey caves and look for gold and silver and other stuff, like these nests, which some of them are scannable, and we want to scan them. There's silver. Hello, sea monkeys. Don't mind me. I'm going to leave titanium. I'm not going to pick up all the titanium that I come across. Can't scan this one either. This looks like a dead end. Ah, titanium. Silver. Titanium. We're about halfway through our oxygen here. I'm going to go ahead and go back up to the surface and start this again on a fresh tank. Gold. Silver. Spinnerfish. Oh, this was the dead end we just were down in. Silver. A little bit dead endy here. This isn't really the entrance that we could use best. Now let's just let's just see if there's a way to get down to where we really want to be from here. No, this is kind of a, a tease entrance. This isn't really taking us where we want to be. What we can do is we can turn back on the beacon for the emergency supply cache, like the very first beacon we ever got. And that will take us right to a, a good entrance for those sea monkey nest caves. seconds. Because what we really needed was another beacon. Ooh. All right, 
What do we got down in here? Silver? Oh no, that's titanium. We already looked around down here a little bit. I'm gonna break that lime, the limestone too, because we need the copper. Silver. Uh, is that a scannable sea monkey nest? I saw my scan icon popping up. No, nope, can't scan that one either. Uh, it's telling me I can scan the blood root. That's what I keep seeing pop up. So let's scan that, get it out of the way. Gold. So what have we got? Two or three gold now and two or three silver. Off to a good start. Four sil silver. Titanium. Spinnerfish. Gold. Air plant. Thank you. Uh, yes, we could go down there, but let's explore this whole level first, and then we'll go down. Titanium. Copper. well on the silver. Don't die. Speaking of dying, why don't we go ahead and take advantage of this. Get us up to the surface. We need a little bit of glass too, so why don't I grab this quartz as long as it's just sitting here. piece of quartz. Okay. Nice spinners. Titanium. Let's go down now. Creepy down in here. Gold. But worth it for the good harvesting. Inventory is full. Let's drop some of this titanium. Plenty more titanium where that came from. Uh, laser cutter fragment. I'll take that. out for another one of those. That was hard to see down here. Gold. Titanium. Copper. Gold. 
Doing pretty well on the gold here. We got two, four, six, eight gold. I've got four or five back at the life pod. Silver. That's a lot of silver, too. Alright, oh, we gotta start thinking about how we get out of here. Without dying. 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll be able to get out, don't worry. Probably. 30 seconds. Yep. I hear ya. Now there is a purple bubbler down in these caves somewhere. Which would allow us to complete... Oh, can we scan this? We can scan this. Great, that's one of two. Should be able to get back up to the surface pretty easily from here. 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're good now. Aren't we? We good now? I think we're good now. Thirty yep. seconds. Silver and gold. All right. So, wow, we've got a lot of good stuff here. Lots of silver, lots of gold. We got the glass we need. We need more copper. Uh, but I, I think we should head back. Let's head back to the life pod and do what we can do with what we've got here. And clean up some, get some space in our inventory for ye even more gathering. Because, you know, I was going to do all this gathering on my own without you guys, but there's not a lot of content in Subnautica Below Zero right now, so I figure... Why not just do it all together? But that went that went pretty smoothly. Let's save. And now, what can we do? We can turn all that silver into wiring kits, for one thing. We're going to need five of those. Alright. One... I think we can make two copper wire. Nope, just one. Two pieces of glass. Now our glass is finished. We have a titanium ingot. We have the lead that we're going to need. We've got another wiring. We've got all the wiring kits we're going to need. Save those. And then we need gold and we need the computer chips. So we, we need table coral samples and we need more copper. Let's keep the gold here. And go out and get more copper and get some table coral. Titanium. I would like to get back down into the sea monkey nest caves for a reason. Titanium. Copper. Copper. Oh, 
Hello. Goodbye. Okay. Keep your eyes open for table coral. There's some. Got three pieces from that. We need ten total. Six, we need four more. Hello, brute shark. Table coral. You around here somewhere? There's some. That's it. That's ten. Let's head back. Do we have all the copper we're going to need? Two, four, five. No, we need more copper. Do we have rum to pick up more copper? Not really. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We can drop some titanium in favor of copper. That's lead. Copper. Titanium. Titanium. Silver. Old inventory full. Nope. Thirty seconds. Okay. I I can't say no to gold, but our inventory is full. Thirty seconds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. We're good. Let's head back. Ooh, go, air bladder, go. Precursor tech, as long as we're out here. 9 of 15. I should get a drop with the next one, if those are actually working. Alright, so we'll make up all of the computer chips we need will give us back a lot of inventory space. And then I would like to get back down into the sea monkey caves. Because I I want to scan another sea monkey nest and there's a reason for that. All right, what can we do computer chip wise? One. Uh, I need more copper wire. Copper wire. All right, we need more gold, and there may be more copper wire. Yep, there's one copper wire, and then we need the gold. Oops.
Yeah, so I think we're going to be able to get this done in, in one session here. Uh, we've got five computer chips. We've got a lot of gold. We've got a lot of, s of firing kits. We may be ready to go here. We need a couple more pieces of gold. But let's make these now. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Alright, so we just need more gold. And we are almost there. Great. Great. All right, let's stash these for now. Stash that other piece of silver. We don't need the glass right now. We don't need the copper. I'm gonna hang on to that computer chip. Uh, we need food and water. Those are cured. Uh, let's let me feed myself, and then we're gonna go back to the the sea monkey nest. little bit of lunch. That should do it. Mmm. That's a lot of water. Alright. Uh, back to the emergency supply cache. to look for more gold and another scannable sea monkey nest down in the sea monkey area. Just gonna drink those up. Top off my... my water. This... these are the fake... fakey ones. The fake out ones that we were at before. Let's not do these gold. Gold. Great. Only one more piece of gold. We can make ourselves a sea truck. Right? These are the fake ones that we can't scan, and there's nothing else down here. Right? So let's continue on to the emergency supply cache marker. Hi Titan, can I have some oxygen? Thank you. Oh, symbiote. I wasn't, I meant him no harm, I was just taking some O2. We've used up all of our copper now, so I will stop to look for more copper if the opportunity presents itself. All right, we're where we need to be. Let's get some O2. Get back down there. I'm off course. There we go. Gold. Titanium. Quartz, 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 quartz. Salt. Another nest, but I don't think this is scannable. Nope. Yeah, there was a limestone back there, but not interested. Going down, 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 down. All the way down. Let's go all the way down. Right. Anything interesting down here? 
Not really. It looks like there will be something interesting down here at some point, but not right now. And there's our last piece of gold. I would still like to find that another scannable sea monkey nest. And you'll know why once I find one. We were just down there. And did I mention there there is a a purple brain coral down here somewhere? So that if you can find that, that can really drastically extend the amount of time that you can spend down here. We've been through here already. Yeah. I think the purple brain coral is down on the lowest level, or one of the lower levels. That's the way we just came. We just came that way. Silver. Sea monkey nest, are you scannable? No. Titanium and titanium. 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 Copper. And there's the surface. Why don't we bop up there and replenish our oxygen? And then come back down and try to find another scannable sea monkey nest. As that's really all we need from down here. Silver and gold. Good. Back to one of the central rooms. Yes, we've been down here before, but... Let's just look around again. Yeah, that, that's just a... That's a closed-off room. There's no way out of there. All these beacons driving you crazy? They're driving me a little bit crazy. We'll, we'll have to turn some of these off. But it, if we go visit them... <gasps> scannable. This will be two of two. And we have unlocked... The ultra high capacity air tank. And that's what I was looking for. And then those are little baby sea monkeys gestating down in there. All right, so we got everything that we wanted to get out of here. And now we should be able to build ourselves a sea truck if we can get out of here without dying, which we are able to. Great. All right, great. Let's top off our water if we've got any space left in our inventory. Okay. And now back to the pod to make ourselves a sea truck.
right? We've got the lead. We've got the titanium ingot. We just need that last wiring kit. Or the last advanced wiring. Okay, advanced wiring kit, and and then we just need to retrieve everything else out of storage. One, two, three, four, and uh, one, two, three, and one, two, and that should be it. Oh, the titanium ingot. And now we are ready to go build ourselves a sea truck. Here's our mobile vehicle bay. Hey, we've got a nice day for it. Awesome. All right, guys. Get to work. Build me a sea truck. Great work, fellas. Yep, you're doing a good job. Well done. Well done, my little builders. All right, let's get rid of all those pinned things. You know what we will pin now is the ultra high capacity air tank. We want that next. That is going to require lithium. Uh, to get the lithium, we're going to go out toward the rocket island. But before we do that, let's just jump in here and save the game. Okay. Okay, let's go get some lithium. And you know, we need stuff for we this the afterburner upgrade we want. We probably want the horsepower upgrade. We definitely want the depth upgrade. So let's keep an eye out for the stuff we're gonna need for that. We're gonna need crystalline sulfur, lithium, more lithium, and silver. So We'll be looking to harvest a bunch of that stuff along the way. And we could go down into, you know, now that we've got this, we may want other sea truck modules. We don't need them, but we may want them. So as long as we have this now, why don't we take it down into the deep twisty bridges since we haven't been down there yet on this playthrough anyway. And scan some of the module fragments down in there. Ooh, spooky, scary, spooky, scary. Our maximum depth is 275, and we are approaching it now. So let's leave the truck here. Go. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Oops. Hull damage imminent. Did I bump into that and it pushed it down below depth? Is what happened just there. He's not making any noises. Should be okay. I do have my repair tool. Right? Yeah. Just give him a quick touch up. Okay. Alright, squid shark over there. There's gonna be fragments down here for the modules. There's a spiky trap! The spiky trap got us. Let go of me, please. Thank you. Fragment. Fabricator module fragment. One of three. Diamonds. Gonna need those later. There used to be lithium down here too, but I think they removed it. I think it's just diamonds now. We'll grab four diamonds. That's all the diamonds I'm gonna pick. There's some lithium. But I think that's all the diamonds I'm going to pick up. I'm going to put my flashlight back in my slot here to help identify the lithium, if there's any more. No. All right, let's keep an eye on our oxygen. There are oxygen plants down here. I 
don't see any more lithium. Yeah, those oxygen plants aren't doing it. I'm going to have to head back up to the truck in a second. Lithium. All right, get a little seconds. low on oxygen. There's a plant there, but there's also a spiky trap right on the other side of it. Okay, that worked. Fabricator module fragment two of three. Three of three. Good. And this is really the only New technology created. The only module that I would really, really, really want to have. The other ones would be nice to have. Oh, squid shark sauce. Didn't get us though. Oxygen. Yep, we're okay. All right, I see another fragment right down there. Let's let's do another run, another trip. That's just a fabricator module fragment, which we don't need anymore, but we'll scan it to get it out of the way. And then there are other... Yeah, you're scary, all right. Uh, regular sea truck fragment. Don't need that either. Storage module fragment. That I need. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get off me, get off me, get off me. Oh, that hurt. That hurt quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to pop a health pack here. Okay. Storage module. One of three. I, I love the looks of this biome, but boy, does it give me the creeps. It's very claustrophobic. Lithium. There's a weird little... So that's a triops. Yeah, there's a tri there are triops down here, which is a new kind of fish. New creature discovered. Pick one up. Fabricator module fragment we no longer need, but I'll scan it to get it out of the way. Fabricator module. Really just looking for a couple more storage module fragments down here. Spiky trap. You got me. I'm, I'm so far away from you. How did you get me? I guess I wasn't far enough away. Boy, this is creepy. There's another spiky trap there. And another one over here, right next to the oxygen plant. Should get a scan off you as long as we're we're buddying up, hugging, having little kisses. Um, let's totally refill on oxygen and then let's take one more trip down in here to try and get that other storage module fragment. Alright, 
last trip. If we don't get it on this trip, we don't get it. We'll move on and do other stuff. Hello. Ah, oh, get off, get off me. I'm gonna have to pop that other health kit. In case that happens again. Or one of those spiky traps gets gets me. Like that. I don't like it down here. It's very scary. Man, last time I was down here, I found all these in like 10 seconds. I just happened to get lucky and fight them all immediately. This time, having a little bit more trouble. There's something. Fabricator. Inventory full of all the titanium from all these extra scans I'm doing. Storage module. Is this two of three? Two of three. And I'd like to get one more before we give up. All right, three of three. Good. Now we're done. New technology acquired. Now we. Oh, get off! It's dangerous down. Did you guys know it was going to be this dangerous down here? Because I feel like somebody should have warned me. About the, the danger level. We are in the danger zone, guys. Let's, let's get out of the danger zone. What do you say? But with that, how about we call it an episode here? Uh, we have built our sea truck. That actually went pretty well, pretty pretty quickly. Uh, built the sea truck. We took the sea truck down into the deep twisty bridges and now have the blueprints for the storage module and the fabricator module, both of which are going to come in really handy. Uh, in the next episode, we'll head out to the cargo rocket island and we will... Uh, scan the rest of the fragments out there. We'll also pick up a bunch of lithium so that we can build these. We can build our ultra high capacity air tank and we can build our upgrade modules for the sea truck itself. All right, so that'll be in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the Subnautica Below Zero early access gameplay. And there'll be more coming soon enough. Stay safe, stay dry.